What's up YouTube? It's First Shift here. And tonight I'm doing just a quick video to show you um, how to theme your weather widget icons. What I'm talking about is down here like this one. Um, I know you guys download themes and uh, you know you may like the theme but you may not like the weather widget icon that comes with it. So I'm going to show you how to change your weather widget uh, icon for any theme. So this should work on anything that you have. And uh, so in my more info section, I'm going to have a download link. And once you get that download link and you download it and unzip it to your desktop, you're going to get this. Now in here I have about five, eight different uh, weather widget icons. As you see, there's one set. Um, right there so this is going to show you how to put any uh, of these icon sets for your weather widget into your theme so let's do a few I'll show you how to do it I'll walk through you walk it walk through it with you um, so let's see here okay as you see I got one here so let's go ahead and change this to a different one and uh, this is pretty simple so the first thing we need to do is SSH into our phone or iPod touch Let me do that real fast. Okay, now once you're into your phone, your iPod Touch, all I want you to do is backspace once, slide down until where you get to Stash, and into Themes. Now, depending on which theme you use, if you're using a certain theme, all I want you to do is click into it. So as you click into it, and then you know, I'll have your icons, your UI images, all the good stuff, and all that. Now, uh, there's two ways to find this. One, it's either going to be named Widgets, or it's going to be named Private, as you see right here. So what I want you to do is, depending if it's Widgets or Private, click into it, and look for a file named Icon Sets. Now, once you've found that, I want you to double-click into it. Okay, now see in here, this is your icon sets for your weather widgets. So go uh, to your desktop or wherever you saved it. Desktop is the easiest. And look for the download I gave you, which is weather icons. And as you see, it says icon sets, and they're all in here. So let's go ahead and pick one. Uh, let's do two different ones, and we'll switch them. So I'm going to put bronze in there. Copy it in there. And let's do Tango, as you see right there. So copy that one in there. Now once you've copied uh, whatever weather widget icons you want to use into your theme, I want you to backspace once and look for a file named config or configure me or something along those lines. Basically it's the same file you use to change your zip code where you live. So once you've found that, when you double click into it, and it'll bring up this page. Now what you're going to be looking for is, as you know it says var local, and then that's where you'd put your uh, zip code or whatever. I want you to be looking for where it says var icon set. See right here it says var icon set, and then it says htc in between those parentheses. So let's switch it. Um, let's find one we want to use here. Let's do bronze first. So, go in between there. I want you to highlight this and type it in there the same way, lowercase on the bronze. So, B R O N Z E. So, once you typed it in there, as you see, bronze right there, I want you to hit the X button and it's going to ask you if you want to save it. Now, this is all done through SSH, so just hit yes and wait as you see down here it's going to ask you it's going to be prompted and it's going to ask you for your password again so go ahead and enter whatever your password is and you're done so once you've done that we need to close out of ssh and come back to our phone we're going to respring it let it respring
And again, this should work with any theme. You just got to find where the icon sets. It's either under private or under widgets. And then I'll say icon sets. And you switch it through the config or configure me, whatever the file is named as. So slide that open. And as you see, I've changed the icons for the weather widget. So uh, this is one was bronze, which is a really cool one. Like I said, I have all these, uh, I have eight of them to uh, download. So you could choose for the one you want to use for your theme. So now that I have that in there, as you see on this one, I have a different one. Right there. So again, you don't have to worry about sizing or nothing. That's already done for you. You're just picking the icons. So let's go ahead and do one more and switch it over. So we're going to SSH back into our phone or iPod Touch. Go ahead and go back into your theme or whatever you are using. Backspace once. Stash. Themes and whatever theme you're using. Again, it's either private or... Uh, weather widget or widget you'll find them in there and as you see it says icon sets right there so this time let's do tango so go back and go down to the configure me and again where it says by var icon set as we have right here tango t-a-n-g-o see it's in there go ahead the expect it's going to ask you to save it. Say yes. Let it prompt. It'll ask you for the password for your SSH. Do that and it's done. Again, we come back to our phone or whatever we're using and we respring it. And we'll wait for that load again. The way that's loading, just messing with my little new theme here I've been working on. And as you see, we've changed the weather widget icons to a different style. So this is showing you how to theme any weather widget icon for any theme that you're using or if you're making your own and you want to use a certain style icon for your weather widget to fit with the theme or whatever. This is showing you how to do it. So. Um, Everything's set up. All you have to do is rename it in the configure me and put the file inside the icon sets with the weather widget and you'll be set. So this is just showing you how to do it. Again, this is first shift. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will have a link for my Facebook and my Twitter as well. So check those out. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.